Hi, this is JP from Not Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG deck testing playthrough. This time we are testing out Iron Heart in a protection build against Crossbones on standard difficulty. I decided to play uh, the Rise of Red Skull scenarios after a long pause. I haven't played these scenarios in a while, so I decided to try uh, my recently built Ironheart protection deck against these scenarios and decided to test this uh, playthrough with crossbones. First, uh, we will look at the deck I built for Ironheart. So we'll pop over to marvelcdp.com. Okay, and here is Ironheart's protection deck I built. So this is quite basic. Uh, with the allies at least. Uh, of course we have Claire. Uh, Claire is always a really good protection ally with the reoccurrence. Uh, then Iron Fist is a really powerful protection ally with the stunning ability and also by going through tough and stuff like that. Uh, Nick Fury I added because it's usually a staple card I use in decks that I haven't tested out yet. Uh, the newer ally pen pinpoint that came in Ironheart's own pack is in test also. Uh, I find this an interesting um, ally to have. Uh, pinpoint uh, has this ability as a hero interrupt. When a player card would be placed in a discard pile from play, exhaust pinpoint, shuffle that card into the, its owner's deck instead. So it makes... Um, reoccurrence to other cards in your deck so you will be seeing some of those key uh, events or uh, allies more often then uh, we have two events that are not the um, staple events of Ironheart we have subdue this is because I found this card to be quite good at um, lowering uh, the attack value of enemies to avoid taking damage and this is important with some other cards in the deck then of course we have the stable resources i also added two uh, powers of protection uh, then we don't didn't add any support but we have a ton of upgrades which are usual in my uh, protection builds at least we have armored vest to bring our uh, defense up by one we have also Dauntless. Uh, with this, if we have more hit points remaining that are that than our starting hit points, uh, we have Retaliate 1, which is really good when you uh, are defending a lot but can't hit back or something like that. So that's good. And then Endurance to boost our health up more than the starting value. Uh, energy Barriers, again, staple protection cards in my decks. These are really good to avoid taking any damage and also uh, spread some damage onto enemies. Uh, then uh, a newer card, Flow Like Water. I really like this card also because it's... Uh, uh, if we play a defense card, uh, we deal one damage to the attacking enemy. Well, th this isn't that great in this deck, but I to try it out we don't have a ton of defense cards but it is what it is at least it combos with the oh it actually doesn't combo with that either so uh, maybe that was a mistake to add it I, I think I was throwing with the deck a bit but then forgot to remove the flow like water well it is what it is um, hard to ignore um, this is again important for protection. Uh, when we don't take any damage, we can uh, use the hard to ignore to remove threats. Uh, then, height advantage. This is a newer card from the Nova pack. Uh, this uh, keys the aerial trait, so at first we are not using this, but as soon as we hit aerial, this will be a really good card. Uh, it uh, lowers the uh, damage dealt to us by enemies, so it again. Uh, combos with some of the other cards. Um, then 
uh, as the last card unflappable so this is always good when you are not taking any damage you get more cards so it, it will give, give us cards uh, to play more cards in the future so that is basically the deck uh, not the best deck maybe but it is what it is um, I am trying out some of the newer cards so that is why I am using some of the uh, cards that are in the deck We'll see how this goes, so let's hop back over to the game. Okay, so we have the game set up and uh, ready to go, so let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start, so we'll flip the uh, main scheme over, which will tell us to draw one of the experimental weapons from the deck. And it is the Exosuit, and it attached to the villain, hero action spent all three resource types, discard this card, it gives plus one uh, scheme and plus one attack to Crossbone, so that is a nasty one. At least it, uh, Crossbone didn't get a weapon which would have um, activated his own ability. Uh, let's uh, start by drawing our opening hand. So uh, with Ironheart we want to try and build up our suit, so uh, we need 6 progress counters on Ironheart uh, to be able to upgrade the suit. And uh, the first, as I said, the first uh, version doesn't have Aerial, but the second one already does, so that is good. So we at least try to get to the second one as fast as possible. Uh, first hand is Nick Fury, genius. Photon Beam, Stroke of Genius, and the Triple Photon Beam. Well, this should, could be a short game if we just uh, start blasting. But I think rather than uh, discarding anything, we'll just play Nick Fury. Then uh, we will draw cards and see where we get from there. So, first thing first, we'll use uh, Genius and Photon Beam and one of the Stroke of Geniuses to play Nick Fury. So, after you, after you spend this card, place one progress counter on your identity and draw a card. So, we already draw one card, we get Dauntless and we also get a progress token. Then. Uh, we will use Nick Fury to draw three cards. Okay, well, another stroke of genius and power of protection. Okay, well, mm, we'll play Dauntless. Okay, so these are used. No, we'll play the Armored Vest. With the stroke of genius, we'll draw a card. Get another progress token. We'll actually uh, play hard to ignore and we'll play the Dauntless. We won't use the Photon Beams yet. We just want to get upgrades down fast as, as fast as possible. Okay, and I think we're ready to flip over to the hero side. So, uh, we'll flip and uh, yeah, we will, there's nothing to taunt, so we'll just start hitting. We'll hit for 2 damage and we'll hit for 2 damage. Okay, that's our whole turn. We ready up, we draw back up to 4, we get uh, height advantage, uh, fly over, iron fist and pinpoint, okay. We'll go to the villain phase, we'll add one threat to the main scheme, crossbow attacks, Nick Fury will defend this time, and uh, crossbow hits for 4, defeating Nick Fury. 
We'll get an encounter card. It is hard as nails. Uh, give the villain a tough status card if you cannot heal three damage from it instead. And we'll give the villain a tough. And that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, this round we don't have enough to play Iron Fist, but I think I'll still play Pinpoint. I'll keep the fly over in hand for next round so I can uh, re remove some threats, get progress tokens, and get on with upgrading the armor. So I'm using Iron Fist and Hide Advantage to play Pinpoint. Then uh, I will just hit the top off and that is our turn so we keep the flyover in hand we ready up we draw back up to four clear sector scan and tony stark ai we'll go to the villain phase we add one threat to the main scheme crossbone attacks i will defend with iron heart and crossbone hits for two plus one is three so we defend it all and uh, we retaliate one and uh, we'll hard to ignore one threat of the main scheme. Uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is concussion grenade. You are confused. Place one threat on the main scheme. Uh, two threat, threat instead if you were already confused. Okay, let's see. So. Okay, so we get confused. Then we will also add one threat here. So that uh, is a bit tough because now we can't play the fire over because it is a thwart action. So we need to think of another way to remove the tough or the confused. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see. Um, I think we will use the flyover and sector scan to play Tony Stark AI. I'll use Tony Stark AI, so look at the top two cards of your deck, add one to your hand and discard the other. So we got Photon Blasters and uh, Energy Barrier. I'm uh, discarding the Energy Barrier. We want to get the Blasters in play. And uh, we will also use Pinpoint to Dwarf for one. Uh, so we won't use ability to uh, return the energy barrier to our deck that is all we can do next turn we hopefully get rid of the photon blasters but yeah we're ready up draw back up to four height advantage uh, new and improved okay uh, we'll go to the villain phase we add one threat to the scheme Crossbone attacks. I will defend. So two against uh, three against four. So again, we don't take any damage. We remove one with the heart to ignore. We deal one damage with the dauntless uh, uh, because we have retaliate. I'll put it here so I don't forget. And uh, we'll get an encounter card. It is Hydra Soldier which has guard, so now we need to deal with the soldier before we can hit crossbones more. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, um, I think we want to play, well, let's use the Tony Stark AI first. Uh, ingenuity and new and improved, so we keep the ingenuity and we discard this. Now we'll exhaust pinpoint to shuffle that back into our deck. Okay. We will 
uh, use new and improved and height advantage super ingenuity. So now uh, we get we can exhaust this to generate a resource. Oh yeah, uh, we actually need to go to Alter Ego to play this. So I think I'll do that. Then uh, we probably will advance the agenda now, but it is what it is. And uh, then um, I will use this and clear. Actually, let's save this. Uh, so we didn't shuffle the new and improved to our deck, but we'll shuffle clear. To see clear more than the new and improved. So a bit of backseas, but it is what it is. So uh, we'll play the photon blasters with uh, ingenuity and clear, and clear went back into our deck. So that is everything. We can't use this yet, but we'll use it soon enough. We ready up. We draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's see. Flow like water, fly over. Unflappable propulsion jets. Clear and endurance. And yeah, uh, because we played photon blasters, we actually get two extra health. So we are at 12 health now. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Crossbone schemes for two plus one is three. That advances this. So we get a uh, main scheme number eight two. When you reveal to reveal that top card of the experimental weapons deck, this starts with one. And uh, Crossbone gets the energy shield, which we really want to get rid of. These are ready, by the way. We'll just place it over here. So now we have the exosuit and energy shield in play. So crossbones gets uh, retaliate. And uh, that is it. The Hydra soldier will fought for one. We'll get an encounter card. It is combat knife. So now crossbones also has a combat knife. boosts his attack by one. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We'll start by using the Tony Stark AI. We draw two cards. We take the void advantage. And uh, we'll put the energy barrier back into our deck. Okay, now we need to think up about this for a moment. We really want to get rid of the retaliate. Uh, we can use height advantage and uh, endurance. And that is a hero action. Then we probably want to use uh, play propulsion jets so we can the ingenuity and go like water. Then we want to fly over. So I think that is our turn. So we'll flip to hero mode. We'll use uh, height advantage and endurance to remove the energy shield. And uh, then we will use this to con uh, remove the fused. We will 
use Ingenuity and Low Life Water to play the pro uh, Propulsion Jets. We get two more hit points. Then um, we will fly over. So we remove three threats from a scheme and place one progress counter on Ironheart, two progress counters if that work removes the last threat, so we'll put two here. Then uh, we'll just deal one damage to this enemy and uh, we just won't use that. Okay, well we ready up. We draw back up to 4, 2, 3, 4. We get energy shield, hard to ignore energy and Spider-Man. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the scheme. Crossbones attacks, I will defend with Iron Heart. Give the villain a tough status card. Okay. It will be removed with the Retaliate. Take no damage, we can remove one threat from the main scheme. Then uh, Hydra Soldier attacks. Um, I'll just take two damage. And we get an encounter card. So it was, the attack was three against four, so we didn't take any damage. Okay, and we get Assault. Okay, well now, I think Pinpoint will defend, so Pinpoint is defeated, and that is it, so that is the round, let's go to the next round. I think I forgot to ready these, so I'll ready them now. So first thing first, we will use the Tony Stark AI to draw uh, two cards, take one, discard the other. Take the heart to ignore. I will use uh, energy barrier and uh, energy to play Spider-Man and we'll pick to get uh, plus two to attack. We will defeat this Hydra soldier which will draw us an encounter card for next round. And uh, we'll play another heart to ignore down. Uh, actually, we'll use this to play it. We keep this in hand. We'll deal one damage to crossbones. That is our whole turn. We ready up. We draw back up to four. We get Brawn, Subdue, Power of Protection, and R2 more. We get one threat onto the main scheme. Crossbone attacks. I will defend with Iron Heart. Uh, 3 plus uh, 3 is 6. We would be taking damage, but I will Subdue. I'm using the Ingenuity to play this. So when an enemy in each that enemy gets okay. So we don't take any damage, we retaliate one. And uh, we get an encounter card. We get two actually, so first is raid the armory. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a weapon attachment is discarded. We will that card. So, Shadow of Past, Weapons Master, Hydra Soldier, Crossbones Assault, Legions of Hydra. Where are. Well, Crossbones Armor is not a weapon. We're going through the whole deck, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> looks like we are not getting any weapons. 
Uh, hydra sidearm, so that's a weapon that has it to crossbones. So we burned almost through the counter deck, so that is a bummer, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, then we get Hell Hydra. It's Hydra minion engaged with King Knight's attack. Well, there are none, so we search our encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion, put that minion in play and shuffle, but we'll just get a Hydra Bomber. And we decide to add one threat to the main scheme. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We will play the last heart to ignore. Um, not a lot to do. Well, actually, before we play that, we will cards. So two cards will take strength, discard sub two. Now we will use these for actually to play brawn. So uh, brawn when exhausted he gains a resource generator, mental resource limit once per phase. And uh, we will Mm, defeat this guy with Spider-Man and Brawn will hit for 3 damage here and uh, that is our turn uh, no it's not we will actually advance cross to base 2 so Uh, we will search for the machine gun. Yeah, I think I saw it discarded, so... Yeah. Uh, there's the crossbones machine gun. It has two ammo counters per player. I will remove one thread from here. And Crossbones has now 14 health remaining. Slowly but surely we are whittling down Crossbones. So at least that's working. I think that's everything we can do. We ready up. We draw back up to 4 so we get an extra encounter card. We shuffle our deck. Get uh, Ronnie Williams, energy, unflappable, and height advantage. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Crossbone attacks. So let's see. When crossbone attacks, you remove one ammo counter from this card and discard the top card of the encounter deck, taking direct damage equal to the number of boost icons on that uh, card discarded. So I will defend with. Spider-Man. So, first off, the attack. Uh, Spider-Man is defeated. Then we'll get indirect damage one, so I'll just take it on Iron Heart. And we'll shuffle this. We'll get the acceleration token. So there's one ammo counter left. Then uh, we get the Hydra Soldier and we get Crossbones Assault. So that has two. And Hydra Soldier has Guard. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. 
Okay, well, uh, we need to defeat the Hydra soldier before we can start dealing damage. We also would want to... Oh yeah, I... Oh yeah, I didn't defend. Oh well. Um, I'll use this to remove one from here. Mm, I'll use this and this to defeat the Hydra soldier. We get an encounter card. Uh, then I will play Ronnie Williams. I'll play unflappable. I'll keep the energy in hand actually. Because actually yeah. We'll see what we draw. A flyover, stroke of genius. I'll pick the flyover. We will play flyover. We remove three threat from a scheme and we'll get two. And now we will remove six. Uh, before that, we will hit for three damage here. Uh, two damage. Then we will remove these. Will upgrade to version 2, which will also ready us so uh, remove six progress counters from Iron Heart, ready her and swap her with version 2 Iron Heart. Okay, now, oh yeah, we <laughs> should have used this later, but it is what it is. Mm, we will. Just hit for two damage. Ready. Uh, we'll draw to five. One, two, three, four, five. Strength, stroke of genius, subdue, iron fist, and genius. So this I will use definitely for iron heart next round and will subdue crossbones but yeah we'll go to the villain phase we add one threat to the scheme actually we add three because this and this is in play crossbone attacks I will defend and uh, Yeah, I will just defend and I will subdue using the stroke of genius. So we also add one progress counter here, draw a card, sub another subdue. So uh, minus three. Uh, so we don't take any damage, but we will take one indirect damage, and I will take it on Iron Heart. Still, uh, we didn't take any damage. And this is discarded without any ammo counters, so... Yeah, let's see. Uh, so we didn't take any damage, we retaliate one. Then uh, we unflap a ball, draw a card, height advantage, we trigger both hard to ignores, and uh, that is it. We get encounter cards, uh, we get Hydra Jet Trooper, which has quick strike. We 
will just take the damage. We, we lose the retaliate, but I think we just try to hit crossbones down fast as, pos as fast as possible now. Then uh, discard X cards from the top of the upper deck where X is crossbones attack. Take one ind indirect damage for each boost icon discarded this way. So two, take three indirect damage. Okay. So. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. Um, we could. Um, uh, we'll play Iron Fist with the genius and strength. No. Yes. We'll play height advantage with ingenuity. And uh, height advantage uh, is a newer card, so let's read it. While your identity has the area of trait, reduce the amount of damage you take from each enemy attack by one. When you your turn begins, discard this card. So actually, this isn't an event, so I'll just put it in play over here. So. Um, Oh, yeah, let's not forget about this. So, mm, I will remove a threat from here and deal 3 damage. Uh, 2 damage here. Ron will defeat the Jet Trooper. And Iron Fist will stun. So, we'll use one uh, Mystic Counter. So, we. One mystic counter from him, stun that enemy and deal one damage to it. Then we also hit for two, so we hit for a total of three. Then that is it. We will actually let's see what we draw with this. Sector Scan and Nick Fury. Mm. Nick Fury is good for next round. We'll keep Nick Fury. Uh, we ready up. We draw back up to 5. Photon Beam. Even improved. And hard to ignore. We'll go to the villain phase. We add Free to the main scheme. I am purposely not defeating this so Crossbone doesn't get an extra extra activation. That is because we can deal with the extra threat each round. So let's see. Uh, crossbone is stunned. We remove the stun. We get an encounter card. Combat knife, that is okay, we can defeat crossbow next round. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. So this went away, uh, we'll use Tony Stark AI, draw two cards, discard another of them, fly over energy barrier, we'll take the energy barrier, doesn't matter. We'll actually cycle our deck a bit by playing the... Nick Fury will draw three cards. We could have just defeated Crossbones here, but I rather use the Photon Beam to do that. So we'll again deal three damage and stun Crossbones. So Iron Fist actually has this. Uh, we will ward this away. And we won't even use the Photon Blasters. We'll play Photon Beam. The other Photon Beam play the height advantage with Ingenuity. So we get... Uh, we defeat... Um, crossbones uh, with the Photon Beam get two progress counters on Iron Heart. So we weren't able to uh, upgrade up to 
uh, version 3, but still we defeated Crossbones quite easily with this deck and that is the game. So I think the deck works pretty well. These um, upgrades I have here are really good when you are trying to just ignore taking any damage. And that makes uh, protection fun in true solo because you are not going to alter ego all that much. So you can handle uh, the threat with the hard to ignore. Uh, the armor quest helps you keep your defense up enough to not take damage. Dauntless will uh, deal damage and if we would have gotten the uh, energy barriers into play, those would also tick damage onto the enemy all the time. And Unflappable uh, gives you cards when you won't, don't take any damage. So I think the deck performed pretty well. Uh, there was the low like water card that is not <laughs> a good card for this deck, so I will be removing that from future playing with this deck. But Hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.